Okay, we're going to have a look at solving roughly the square root of a number that's not a square number. And we're not going to do it with a calculator. We're going to do this just by using things that we know. So, having a look at the square root of 30. Now, the ones that I know roughly around the 30, I know that the square root of 25, well that's 5, I know that one. I know that the square root of 36 is 6. And the square root of 30 fits somewhere just in between those. And looking at roughly its placement, it's halfway. 30 is halfway between 25 and 36. Which means our answer to the square root of 30 is roughly, now I'm using the approximate equal sign because I know I'm not exact here, is 5.5. So the square root of 30, we're saying roughly, is about 5.5. I could be off, I could be wrong, I probably am wrong, but it's just an estimate. Now, the square root of 70. If you want to have a go at this before I do, then please pause the video now. But I'm going to have a go at this now. Square root of 70. Well, my known facts. I know that the square root of 64, which is quite close, is 8. I also know the square root of 81, which is 9. And is there anything else I know? Well, no, there's nothing closer. So, 70's got to go in somewhere in there. Now, it's closer to 64, because if I spread this out on a number line, just knowing where these are, 64, 81. Well, we're going to look at somewhere around here, aren't we? And this is just a pure looking at the numbers. So I'm saying the square root of 70 is roughly, I don't know, 8.4. If you put 8.5, I think you wouldn't be marked down for that. It's just a rough estimate after all. Two questions for you to hear, have a go at here. I want the square root of 56 roughly and the square root of 131. If you pause the video now and then I'll show you the answers in two ticks. Okay, the answers you can roughly get. The square root of 56 is roughly about 7.5. If you put 7.4, 7.6, then you're in the right area, aren't you? Square root of 131 is roughly about 11.4. Again, if you put 11.3, 11.5, then you're in the right ballpark and they give you the mark. So that's how we look at the square roots of numbers where we're just roughly guessing or estimating their answer. Just don't forget to put this sign here, because that tells everybody else that you've had a guess. It's not going to be the correct answer.